Aloha and welcome to the Joy of Crafting show brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And yes, we are still getting ready for graduation because we have a lot of exciting new lays in our new lay book. We have Puna from our Enchanted Lake store who is going to share one of the lay designs. It's uh, a lay made with the Hana Ami Loom, which is uh, kind of a, not a, kind of a new thing that we have. Mm -hmm. at the stores. It looks like this. This is the loom itself. Okay. And um, it comes with a lot of different pieces. You're not going to be using all the pieces to make the lay, oh. but this is how it comes when you buy it. We're just going to be using one circle oh. um, loom and it is not the biggest size, but the second. The medium. Yeah, the middle one. Yeah, because the there's a little bit small one. Okay. So we're going to use the second largest pink loom okay. and that just sits right in there's um like pukas in here you can just set it oh, in okay. to hold it in place and then you're also going to need some rat tail uh -huh. this is obviously not the same color as the lay i showed you but this is um a multi-orange color rat tail and also one eighth inch satin ribbon okay and this is what we're going to use to make the whole lay with so the other thing that your loom comes with is, uh, um, I forgot to mention this, a little tapestry needle. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to thread our rat tail into our loom. And there's a little notch right here on every side. And all we're going to do is, oops. Does it matter what side you start from? It doesn't matter what side. They have a notch on all sides. So, and it's going to put the rat tail into the notch so that it stays. Oh, okay. So that if we pull on it, it's not going to just come loose. And then we're going to start making our flower. All you're going to do is start winding your rat tail around the pegs. So start with the rat tail at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go up past these two pegs and back down. It's going to go around the one in the bottom and up to the top. Oh. and down. So you're kind of going to do this like a uh, crisscross. Wrapping it around. Wrapping it around oh. with the rat tail. So every time you go around the top, one on the top, you're going to go around clockwise mm -hmm. and come down to the one to the left of the one on the bottom. Oh, okay. You get it? So the one mm -hmm. on the left. And then I kind of have to warn you, the rat tail does like to slip off of your loom so which is why you can see I'm always going to be pushing the rat tail kind of down like, yeah uh -huh. to kind of keep on the plastic pieces so we're going to do this you have to wrap around each peg twice oh okay after you do two passes with your loom mm -hmm. each peg has two little wraps on it okay. and then I'm going to end by going like this to the top and you can notch here oh, to, hold it, to hold it in place. If you just pulled your flower off of the loom like this, it would just fall apart and be one big long string of rat tail. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you have to kind of sew it together. Oh. So that's what we're going to use our 1 8 inch ribbon for. You're just going to thread your ribbon through your tapestry needle and give yourself a good bit, good tail here because mm -hmm. it does like to slip out. And then you're going to sew, but you have to come up from the bottom of the loom. Okay. So it's kind of a feel your way through. <laughs> so you sew it through the in between uh -huh. the petal of the top one here. Okay. We're going to hold on to the ribbon. Down there. Uh huh. Could you put it through the notch? Can I put it through the notch? Yeah, to hold the ribbon. You can, but the ribbon is so small that it doesn't yes. like to stay in the notch. If you tie a knot on it, you can, but to me it's just easier to hold it. So we're going to do that. So you're going across? Yeah, sorry. I'm going to go. Came up this way and then came right across down in between the petal on this. So straight across. And we're going to do that for the whole flower. Oh. Yeah. So you're going to, you're going to like, Kind of go in the order. Yeah, so and we're going to work clockwise again. 
go around in a circle clockwise. I can't find, there it is. <laughs> so to the right of the one on the top, mm -hmm. and then to, to the, the left. left of the one on the bottom. We're gonna keep doing this until we have the whole flower darned like that. It doesn't take too, too long to do, but you do need to make a few flowers <laughs> for this. Yes, I counted about 18 here. Yes, you need to make 18 flowers. Um, and actually that makes a pretty good size lay. Mm -hmm. Each flower is going to be about two inches wide and 18 flowers strung together. You're going to have about a 30 inch, 36 inch lay. It doesn't take a lot of thinking or anything. You just have to be able to know how to do it. And once you do it, you get the hang of it and it gets to be really easy. So you just popped it off. I just popped the whole thing off of the loom and then I actually am going to pop it off of this plastic piece too. Oh. Because I finished my darning. Mm-hmm. Then we have all these four pieces, two little pieces of rat tail and two pieces of ribbon. And all I'm going to do is bring them to the back mm -hmm. and tie them all together. Oh, okay. And that's going to make a nice knot in the back. Just to secure it all. Just to secure it all so it doesn't just fall apart. So you have to make 18 flowers, mm -hmm. um, lay them out, and then... I just had a few that I had made already. What you're going to do is use the same 1 8 inch blue ribbon mm -hmm. and you're going to tie them together. And it's really easy. Oh. You just string through mm -hmm. two of the petals on one flower and two of the petals on the other flower. Uh huh. And what I do is tie it into a double knot. Okay. And then to make it look cuter than just having oh, a knot, okay. I make a little bow. So that's what these little bows are for. That's what the little bows are for. So the little They're bows actually are actually holding, holding your lay together. I thought they were just cute little additions to the lay. No, they will hold your lay together. Oh. So essentially, you're just going to make a bunch of flowers and string them together mm -hmm. so you have your lay. Perfect. Great idea. So it's in the book. It's in the book. Yeah, uh, this the is new volume nine. The new volume nine book, and then you can find this lay on page twenty-nine. Also, it has a step-by-step -step photo, so that's good because it shows how what you just did. All the instructions. So we don't have to take notes. No. And yeah, it doesn't look very hard when you show it like that. <laughs> yeah. It's not hard at all. And you just showed us too, so that's great. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.